Praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, y'all. Praise him. He's worthy. He's worthy of the praise, not me. He, that is Jesus the Christ, which is the Lord of my life. Best believe it. Shout out to you too once again for giving me another opportunity to share and everything. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. For the love of money is the root to all kinds of evil. The root to all kinds of evil is money because of the temptation. Money is not evil. Is that it, it the power and the subset and obsession of it can can ch change or alter a person that's good into evil. It has done it to me plenty of times. I'm not like that no more. I've always been a giver. Let me tell you something. I got people that's close to me. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to money, money's not a god to me. I'm going to make it clear. Look at me when I'm talking to each and every one of you. Shout out to my man, Ten Toes. <laughs> Money is not a God to me. I give to homeless people. I give to anyone. And I say that not to boast. I spend money like I drink water. And if you want to see, I'm going to show you the type of water I drink. Just so y'all know what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is the type of water I drink. Hold on. Where's my bottle of water at? There you go. I just got out the fridge. You see that right there? This is what I drink on a daily. That's how I spend water. I taught y'all. You spend, you save, and you invest. See, the problem is with some of you dudes, you're so greedy when it comes to money. You think you're the Egyptians, right? Only thing the Egyptians did was they 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 buried themselves with all their gold, thinking they're gonna take the gold with them to the next life, and the only thing they wind up doing was getting robbed when they died. Cause you know what? The next group of men came as they died and went in their tombs and took all their gold, their coffins and everything. Stop making money your God. Stop making money your God. Money you heard you heard the song for the love of money people will kill their own brother for the love of money people will kill their own mother. that is a fact not for me i'll never violate none of my people's over no money i'd rather let it go you know what i'm saying because i used to take advantage of people with money is concerned i used to charge people getting them a job and i used to take money from them take money out of their money that was their money. Instead of charging a guy who's the guy who's asking me to get the guy instead of charging him, I'm charging the guards. Wrong. I was in error. And I owe money to people because of that. I owe money to Mr. Lee. I owe money to Maurice. I owe money to Kanye. And I'm not talking about Kanye West. I'm talking about Kanye security. And it's my man, Sonny, who put me on, who put me on to this game. Shout out to him. Shout out to Jade. My man Ramos, he put me on. He said, Rala, when I put you on, I never charge you for no for nothing. I never took no money from you. If you see I didn't do that, why did you do that? You know why? Because I was messed up financially and I got greedy. And I wronged good people. At one point it was a it was a reputation that went around to me. Yo, Rala's a good dude, but he's charging dudes. And I was wrong for that. I pray that Mr. Lee. Maurice, Sonny, anybody I've charged that I wrongfully did in that area, they will forgive me. I will rectify every situation. I told Sonny that I will do that. While I'm making this video and everything, I'm saying this to say that we have to be very mindful when it comes to money. You will lose a person that's real good to you because you do the wrong over money. I'm not the same little Christian God I once was. You know, dudes have taken advantage of me. You know how the Bible said, hit him on the cheek, turn the other way. Dudes have did this, boom, 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 boom. Them days is over. This is a new day, bro. Friend or family member, you disrespect me, you're going to be disrespected to the third degree. You violate me. You're going to get violated to the third degree. And that don't necessarily mean I have to get physical with you. That don't mean I have to get revenge for what you and do, do evil unto you. What you've done unto me. No. My revenge for you 
is just getting more money than you. My revenge will be more successful to you. My revenge will mean not dealing with you. Trust and believe the Lord made me a great man. A great dude. And dudes envy and is jealous of me because of that. But let me tell you something. Don't ever let money corrupt you. Money at the end of the day, no matter how much you save, no matter how much you invest, is meant to be spent. You're not taking it with you to the great. You're not taking it with you to the next life. There's no money in heaven. There's no money in hell, which most of you dudes probably will go to anyway. Money will cause a lot of you dudes to die before your time. I tell my brother that. I said, what do you, you know, I used to watch the cartoon. I love it. DuckTales, Scrooge McDuck. You see him swimming in the money bin. He got all his money and everything. And he's still cheap. You never see him. You never see him in none of the episodes with DuckTales. Woo! Look it up. I'm a little older than most of you. You never see Scrooge McDuck spending none of his money. He went against his man, Flint Hart Gongo, who makes money too. Both of these guys are rich guys come trying to get more money than even one another. To the point of killing each other. And these guys are both rich, still looking for more treasure. The greed of money. Trust me, I want the cause. I want everything. I'm greedy too. Trust and believe this. Everything I see, I want. And by the grace of the Father, I will get. But the same stuff that he gives me, trust me and believe this when I tell you. The same way how he give it to me, I give it away the same way. I got a car outside right now. My wife can tell you. Then I'm working on fixing up to give to another man who's not even a friend of mine who don't even deserve it. Because of the compassion that the Lord put on my heart to bless this man. He don't have a license. He had a rough and horrible life. But the Lord put it on my heart to bless him. Why am I blessing this man? He don't even rock with me like that. He don't even love me like that. He don't even appreciate me like that. You know why? Because the Lord put it on my heart. And you know what the Lord told me at the time? He said, yo, when you give it to him, make sure you hook it up the way that you hook your car up. You got to see how I ride around with Superior Prime, a.k.a. Black Panther, a.k.a. Kit, the new night rider, because I am the rider. Don't get it twisted out here. 6 9 go around saying that he, he's the demon. He's the beast. I'm not no demon. And I'm not no beast. But this angel of death can be unleashed. Don't play with me. It's not a game. I'm on the road to the White House. The bigger picture. The Lord has put on my heart to be. The honorable Elijah Muhammad to save the black man once again. But if you don't appreciate it, you're going to miss it. Ain't no more Malcolm X. It ain't no more Martin Luther King. They're gone. Now you have me. The combination of all three. Whether Marcus Garvey, Bob Marley, the honorable Elijah Muhammad, the honorable Reverend Martin Luther King Jr., the honorable Minister Malcolm X. You have all of that in me. Barack Obama was not the fulfillment of Martin Luther King's dream. I am. Look at my face as twin toes will say as I'm talking to you. It ain't no all, ain't no black man out here raising up to be the next president of the United States of America. Rest in peace to Herman Cain because he was the only one that, that did it. And he died because of COVID. Rest in peace to Kay Slayer and Fred the God's son. This demon has been unleashed to kill each and every one of you out here. Your money's not going to save you from this thing that's been unleashed. You know, Bill Jobs, one of the richest men, died. You know, 50 Cent made a classic album, Get Rich or Die Trying. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you something. I'm not trying to get rich. I'm rich already. I got both of my eyes. I know I can see out of both of them, near and far. Even some vision starting to lose right here because I'm getting older. You know, I got my nose, both nostrils. I can smell. I can sneeze. I can breathe. I got my lips. I got the remainder, the majority of my teeth. I got my tongue. I can taste. I got the spit that you see coming out of my mouth that's meant to help break down my food. I can swallow. I can cough. I can burp. I can use the bathroom in both ways. I got both of my legs. I got my feet. All of my toes. I got my upper and lower back. My equilibrium is good. I got my over my arms. 
my upper and lower arms, my elbows, both my elbows, my wrists, both of my hands, all of my fingers. I got both of my ears and I can hear out of both of them. I got the brain and I woke up in the right frame of mind. Come on. I'm rich already. I'm just not rich in the natural. And you better pray that I do get rich. Because when I get rich, only thing I'm going to do is bless each and every one of you. I want to see everybody make it. Everybody. I don't want to get rich and take off. If I was the type of person, I went, I went, uh, uh, the, the, lot, the mega millions went up to close to a, 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 close to a billion dollars. I'm the type of person, everybody say I'm stupid. I went over $500 million. Black people, you ain't getting no reparations. I'm setting it up to make sure at least, at least three, four hundred of that go to y'all. What do I need? To, what do I really need four or five hundred million for? Come on. For what? Because the only thing I got to do, hundred million alone, you know what I'm saying? Generation shut up. Take care of my whole family. I'm not. Let me explain something to you guys. I'm not some of these rappers that's billionaires. No disrespect to them. I take care of all of my family. Even those that don't even rock with me, I take care of them. I make sure everybody is good. What they do with it is on them. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I'm greedy in a good sense because I like designer clothes. I like sneakers. I got more sneakers than I need. I got more pants than I need, more shirts than I need. But if I want it, I'm going to get it. But you know the same way I get it, I'm going to give it. I am me. The best there is. The best there was. The best there ever will be. You know where I got that from? I got a shout out to Brett the Hitman Heart because I got it from him. And you know what? Because I studied him and learned him, I mastered him, which makes me greater than him. No disrespect to him. I am the nature boy. Not the nature boy on YouTube. I am the nature boy, Ric Flair. Woo! I am him. But I study him. He's a part of me. I am the ultimate warrior. I am Hollywood Hulk Hogan. One thing I am not. I am not the heavenly father. I am not Jesus the Christ. I will not commit blasphemy. But all these great people that existed before me and all these great people that's now here, I take from them and add unto me, which make me the ultimate, which makes me the all. I am the Muslim. I am the Jehovah Witness. I am the Baptist. I am the Catholic. I am the Hindu. You know why? Because the word teaches me to be all things to all people to possibly save some. I say that to say this, brothers and sisters. A brother did something dirty to me today. A brother, a real close brother to mine. You know what I'm saying? And my natural, how I am now, I would have violated him. Violated him. But you know what I say? You know what? Let it go. Let him keep that. Because you know what? Regardless of not, even though he wasn't considerate of me, what I did for him today, I'm considerate of his situation. He's not as fortunate as me. He don't have the help that I have. He don't have the support. It's all on him and everything like that. So I understand why he has to keep certain coins and stuff like that. I understand. You know, I totally understand. And because I took time out to think and everything, I, it helped me to become more humble. You know, I'm going to tell you all something. I'm going to give you all some advice. Don't ever ask no man. And please, for any, any of my brothers, don't ever ask no man who has kids for money. Because that means you taking away from his family. Don't ever do that. And he might give it to you. I have great friends. My man Ty is my man. Great friend. Great father. He's a great man. One of the greatest men I ever met in my life. Great advice. And I hope as he watched this video, he'll forgive me. I should have never asked him for money knowing he got children. You know? Great man. And, and mind you, I'm a Christian. He's a Muslim. How do we, we not even pull the jail with each other based on the word of God. And, and Islam, I would be considered an infidel. And in, in Christianity, he'll be considered an antichrist. Because I believe Jesus is God. He believed Jesus is a prophet. But at the end of the day, he got his religious beliefs. I have my religious belief, but we still coexist and we're the best of friends. That's my man. Forgive me for even asking you for money in that aspect because of my irresponsibility. Knowing you got a family, knowing you got kids, and I'm going to sit up here and borrow money from you. That was wrong. Keep me in prayer, brothers and sisters. Because you know what? We all have our wrongs and we all have our flaws. And I, and I will give and help each and every other person too. But I fall into temptations too. You know, the Bible talks about in James chapter 4, verse 6, if you know the good you ought to do and you don't do it, it's sin. So I sin today. 
So we all are a work in progress. So I'll say this in closing. Brothers and sisters, be encouraged. I had a marvelous day. Marvelous day. And I thank my man, Ty. He let me take me. Uh, I saw some people I used to work with. Uh, uh, and uh, Rockefeller, shout out to my Muslim brother, Osak Dogan. You know what I'm saying? P.O. Velasquez. I didn't get to see my former boss, Charlie Hoover. Shout out to my guys at Supreme. Yeah, I saw it in the video. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get to see my man Kareem, another great Muslim brother. I didn't get to see my other man Kareem that worked across, that had a, a business across him and his wife. I heard that COVID took the, man. Shout out to Fool's Gold. They no longer there in Williamsburg. Brothers and sisters, please, y'all, do not let money destroy a relationship with a family, destroy a relationship with a friend. It's not worth it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I've learned this. Sometimes when you're right, you're wrong. Sometimes when you're wrong, you're right. Sometimes it's better to let a person wrong you than you do right by them in a sense. You know why? Because you have to look at the bigger picture. If you ever saw Biker Boys, the father, when he went against, uh, what's his guy named? Luke. Um, Derek Luke, great actor. Shout out to him and shout out to Denzel for giving him and uh, Joy Bryant a chance with um, the Antoine Fisher story. Denzel, man, do my story. You know, you got the book of Eli, you need to do the book of Rala. I'm telling you, it'll be the greatest story ever told outside, other than the story of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I'm just kidding, because we still need to get that first black billionaire, Reginald M. Lewis movie. What's up? Diddy, I thought you was going to do it. What happened? I'm still waiting on it. And get that book. If you haven't read that book, the first black billionaire, Reginald M. Lewis, it says, why should white guys have all the fun? Read that. Incredible, man. You know, incredible with Patrice the ice cream. Incredible, man. I gave my brother KK the book. He lost the goddamn book. <laughs> so with that being said, brothers and sisters, you know, this be let's be wise, not just with how we spend our money, but let's be wise with our relationships when it comes to money. Because the word teaches us a righteous man is cautious in a friendship, but the way of the wicked lead them astray. So with that being said, Friday is coming soon. Lord willing, I get to see you another day. I'm excited because y'all know tomorrow is, for me, IHOP, TJIF, Fridays. Oh yeah, today was throw, Throwback Thursdays and you saw the videos that went up. I had a ball today riding in Superior Prom, a ball playing some old school stuff. Man, the Lord was merciful, man. Had a great day today in the land of the living. Great day. Shout out to my man Q at Auto Sound. They gave me, yo. Y'all think Radio Raheem is gone? He's here. He's me. Radio Raheem is right here. Because he got me rocking, man. I came home. I got some sleep. And like I tell y'all, always get sleep. You know how these dudes say stay woke? No. I'm, I'm disagreeing with that. Yeah, you know, you stay woke for a certain amount of time, but you better take your ass to bed. Excuse my language. Get yourself some rest so you can rest your mind. Rest your heart. Because without getting rest, you destroy everything a part of you. You destroy your mind, you destroy your, your, your organs, and you destroy your immune system. Get some rest. I don't care if it's a power nap. It's going to bless you. Because remember, the wicked don't get to sleep. They'll be tormented day and night in eternal damnation while the righteous sleep into the day of judgment. You see how that is? When you say rest in peace, you're saying rest in peace because the person is not in heaven. They're actually resting until they get to go before the father in judgment, most likely going to heaven. While those who are who, who are not resting in peace, they go probably they got they probably go straight to hell and they're held there into the day of judgment, tormented into the day of judgment. That's some revelation for y'all. All right. So peace and blessings, guys. TJIF Fridays is coming. I hop Fridays. Oh my gosh, I can't wait tomorrow to get me some good. That I'm gonna get that two 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 two, two pancakes, two sausages, two two uh two eggs. Over easy, medium, over easy. But don't bust the yolk. I'll probably get some toast too. That's what we gotta do. It. Two 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 two. I hop two two two. Yo, just push your T. You see how you got a song? Don't. I got to give me a song, too. I need to make me a quick million dollars. I hop. Come on, man. Holla at me. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Two, two. I get Flo Rida do the lyrics, and I just do the hook. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Whoa. Big up to my man, NBO. We coming. That Chris Pratt album is coming. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the world of Chris Pratt. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. 
And if God forbid something happened to me, NBO got the songs that's still gonna drop. And if and if he'll drop and then mine will drop. And I got I I don't have more songs than Machiavelli. But let me tell you something. I saw only song, excuse me. But I have enough to at least make two albums. And big up Pop Smoke got the album coming too. Last album coming from Pop Smoke. Y'all know I, how I do it on Wednesdays. It's always Woo Whopper Wednesday. Big up to Bashar Jackson, a.k.a. Pop Smoke. But love each and every one of y'all. Have a great weekend. I mean, have a great night as we prepare for the weekend. You know, la you know, big up all my Jews, Hebrews, Israelites for the Passover. Big up for all my Muslim brothers and sisters in the month of Ramadan. Y'all got one more week. Keep pressing. You know what I'm saying? Big up to all the Hindu brothers and sisters. You know, um... Big up to, uh, you know, all the religions out there. P you know, everybody got their religious beliefs. Big up to them. And big up, big up, extra big up to my man Bug. Big up to my man G Vaz. I appreciate, you know, them. I learned a lot. They challenged my character. Proverbs 27, 17. I ain't shopping Zion, so one man shopping one another. When I go to that barber shop, we get it in. We shopping one another. And I appreciate y'all. Because y'all just helped me to be better. Helped me to see the errors of my ways. And I appreciate it. And I'm grateful. All right? Peace.